Hey guys, well, welcome welcome back to another video. Um, different setup. Uh, sorry about that. Um, so we're gonna get into our first sports talk video. And as you guys heard today in the NHL, we all know the playoffs are going on. So here we go. Here's the big trade today. If you guys are are Pittsburgh Penguins fans or Toronto Maple Leafs fans watching this, you guys know what's about to come. So the Penguins acquire forward Kasperi Kapanen. Jesper Lindgren and Pontus Aberg for a 2020 first round pick, Evan Rodriguez, Philip Hallander, and David Worsowski. That's what the Leafs acquire. And the Penguins acquired Kasperi Kapanen. Huge news. I want to dive deep into this trade, um, see who won the trade, who lost the trade, or is it still too early to count the trade? To like, uh, Is it too early to see who won and who lost the trade? I'm going to be going through each player by player, looking at their points and looking in their past few seasons. Um, so yeah, let's jump right into it. Alright, let's talk about what uh, the Leafs acquired first. So the Leafs acquire a 2020 first round pick. I've done some research, I don't know what they're picking, what, what pick they are they have. Um, Evan Rodriguez, David Warsawski, and Philip Hollander. Um, let's dive deeper into this trade. First we're going to go with Evan Rodriguez. He only played seven games last year in the NHL. One goal, no assist, one point. Now, mind you, he only played seven games. That's really not that good. Um, it's really not that good. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how much. He, I don't know if he played in the AHL much last year. I only checked for the NHL stats of last year. Head to David Warsawski. Uh, 51 games played. This is in the AHL. So uh, David Warsawski was in the AHL system for the uh, Penguins. Um, 51 games played, 10 goals, 23 assists, 33 points. That's average, but could be better. Um, 51 games played, 33 points is meh. Um, I mean, he's in the AHL, so I mean, what can you really expect? And then Philip Hallander, I haven't found much on him. Uh, except the 2019 World Juniors, where he played for Sweden. Five games five games in that tournament. No goals, no assists, no points. Like, he was just literally absent. He had two penalty minutes and was a positive one in that tournament. But that's that's it. I, there's really no information on him for that, <laughs> for, for him. Now let's go over to what the Penguins acquire. All right, so what we know is the Pens acquire a Jesper Lindgren, AHL uh, Toronto Marlies for the Maple Leafs, Pontus Aberg, who was in the AHL but then moved up to the NHL, um, and then Kasperi Kapanen from the Leafs. Now let's let's take a look at these cats. We're going to start with Jesper Lindgren. Uh, played in the AHL for the all of 2019-2020 season of what 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 it was. Uh, 31 games played, 1 goal, 8 assists, 9 points in 31 games. That's really not that good. Pontus Aberg, AHL, for most of the 2019-2020 season, moved up to the NHL at the end and played like 5 games with the Leafs. Um, 55 games played, 20 goals, 24 assists, 44 points. That's decent. It's, it's pretty good. And then Kasperi Kapanen, uh... 69 games played, 13 goals, 23 assists, and 36 points. I mean, it's decent. Kapanen, it's, it's not definitely prime Kapanen. He, Kapanen's pretty... He's pretty good on the... He's like the number one penalty kill for the Leafs. Um, so, he's still a decent player, even with these stats. He's still a really good player. Uh, I think he got drafted like fourth overall by the by actually the Penguins in 2014. Uh, correct me if I'm if I'm wrong down in the comments. Um, so he's heading back to Pittsburgh. Kind of funny, um, but so really, I feel like it's way too early to say who won this trade. I'll make a follow up video next season. Um, after like the entire season, following up with this trade to see how many people actually stayed on the um actually stayed on the uh, uh on the teams because who knows there could be other trades coming in. We saw Joe Sackick in the Matthew Shane trade 
literally just like holding two phones at once, the Preds and the Senators, seven seven or eight assets for just two or three guys, and the Avalanche definitely won that trade because look where they are right now in the playoffs. Granted, by the time this video goes up, they're two and zero when the uh, they're two they're down two and zero in the series to the Stars. Um, that game was actually last night. That was really mad to watch. Um, so I feel like it's too early to say who won the trade, but definitely looking at this, the Penguins. Just looking at it on paper, the Penguins won this trade. They had they got the better guys. They they have the guys with better stats, but like I said, it's too early to um, it's too early to say who won this trade. Now maybe these guys, most of them, has kind of played in the AHL. They haven't necessarily had their breakout season in the NHL yet. If they do break out, this trade will be good for maybe both teams. I don't know. The Leafs could have done a really bad thing um, with. Trading Kapanen. But I mean, when you miss playoffs, like, well, miss playoffs, when you lose in the first round of the playoffs for like three years in a row, definitely want to be able to do something with it. So, how'd you guys like this video? Did you guys like me talking about this trade stuff? If you guys do, you know, comment down. I'll do some more trade stuff and more like sports talks and everything. Um, I tried to get a bracket prediction out, but I've just been too busy with school. I haven't been able to do that. Editing takes a while. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching if you guys did stick around. Um, who do you think won this trade? Comment down below. Um, and if there's anything I missed, then definitely comment down. And I will make sure to put that in the, in the description or something. If you guys like this content I do, please subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Please like the video. Also, uh, um, turn on notifications so you get notified whenever I upload. Like I said, I haven't really been able to upload a lot. Uh, school has been keeping me really busy, and I've just been kind of getting back into wrestling. Um, if I do go to any matches, I will maybe make a turn of it vlog. That'd be, be kind of cool. Um, but, yeah, just thanks for watching. Uh, if you guys want to see some more trade videos, you know, click the like button. If you guys uh, um, want to see me go back to playing some games, uh, comment that down below. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of torn what I want to do with this channel because uh, I like talking about sports, but I also like playing games. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys.